For over a year, the COVID-19 pandemic has gripped the world, sending countless COVID patients to the hospital and causing the deaths of almost 4 million people, according to the World Health Organization. While many lost their battle with the virus, many more have recovered. KTIV's Emily Schrod has one Siouxland woman's inspiring battle against COVID-19. It wasn't easy sometimes, but I made it. Jewel Hansen was diagnosed with COVID-19 in October of last year. After trying to fight the virus at home and getting sicker, Hansen was life flighted to Faith Regional Health Services on October 28th. Just two days later, she was intubated to help her breathe. And that was basically the start of this like horrific battle for her with COVID-19. Hansen was then placed into a coma as doctors continued to try to wean her off the ventilator. After efforts to get Hansen off the vent, her lungs then collapsed. After the double lung collapsed, um, she had probably been on the ventilator about three to four weeks at that point, and it was starting to not look good. You know, like I was reading things, and people who had been on a ventilator longer than six weeks basically had a 1% chance of survival. Holcomb, Hansen's daughter, said every time they tried to wean her off the vent, something else would happen. She said doctors started telling their family there wasn't much more they could do. With the family, we got rallied together and, and, you know, none of us felt good about that decision, you know, to turn her off. We wanted more time. We asked for more time. We met with her church and her pastor and her pa She was a very godly woman and, you know, met with them and he advised us, you know, that, you know, you know, like he's seen miracles and um, we were going to pray and believe for a miracle for her. And so that's like the stance we took. And they continued to have hope. In January, because Hansen had been on the vent for so long, doctors said she had to have a tracheotomy. After an unsuccessful first attempt, doctors decided to try the procedure again. On January 17th, they performed a successful tracheotomy. Following the surgery, she started to improve, and after four months in the ICU, Hansen was finally off the ventilator. From that day forward, it just, like, nothing has stopped her. She's literally a miracle, you know, and been on this long roller coaster and she's finally like coming off of it. So it's just we've had a happy ending to what we didn't think we'd ever see her again. After 145 days in the ICU, Hansen was released to a rehab facility. My faith in God was strong. My kids knew I had strong faith in God that God would see me through. Emily Sherrod, KTIV News 4. After everything their family's been through, there's one thing they hope viewers take away from their story. The number one thing I just want people to know, I think, is just that, you know, don't give up hope and have faith. Don't give up on your family. Keep pressing forward and don't pull a plug. Holcomb says that Jewel's doing great, and after those 145 days in the ICU plus 92 days in rehab, she finally gets to come home today.